As a first time buyer, you don't know what you don't know. So today I'm giving you three tips that will save you thousands of dollars. Thanks for joining. I'm Ashley Novak. I'm a local real estate agent here in Los Angeles. We post new videos here every Wednesday with real estate tips and about the local area. If that's something of interest to you, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification button so you will never miss a video. You learn a lot when you buy your first home, but if nobody gave you these three tips, it could cost you a lot of money in the long run. Tip number one, removing private mortgage insurance. If you put less than 20% down and are paying private mortgage insurance, check with your lender to see their requirements to remove PMI. Some lenders require 20% equity and others require 25%, but the lender is not going to notify you when you reach that milestone. You must reach out. Some lenders require 24 months before cancellation of PMI, but know this information so when the time comes, you're ready. With home appreciation in the double digits, more than likely if you've purchased in the last few years, you're probably there or almost there. Make sure to stay current on your mortgage payments, then make the PMI cancellation request in writing. More than likely, you will need to get a home appraisal, but once that's completed, poof, PMI gone and you will save thousands of dollars over the life of the loan. Tip number two, supplemental tax bill. You've probably never heard of a supplemental tax bill if you're a first time home buyer, but it can be a nasty surprise when it shows up in your mailbox if you aren't expecting it. So make sure you set aside funds to pay this and don't forget to pay it because it comes with penalties if you are late. So what is a supplemental tax bill? When you purchase a home in Los Angeles County, expect to receive a supplemental tax bill in addition to your property taxes. New homeowners pay Los Angeles County for the difference between the last assessed home value and the new assessed home value. If you use an impound account to pay your property taxes, take note that the supplemental tax bill will come directly from the county assessor's office and it will not be paid from your impound account. In the description below, I've included a link to a supplemental tax estimator so you know what to expect. Tip number three, renew your home warranty. When you purchase your home, the seller typically pays for a one-year home warranty in case there are any issues. I would highly suggest renewing the home warranty, especially if you're purchasing an older home with older appliances. It will typically cost less than $1,000 for the year and will cover appliances, HVAC, plumbing, electrical issues, etc. The service charge is typically less than $100 and if your dishwasher or AC unit breaks, they fix or replace it for only the cost of the service charge. Those are my three tips for saving money as a first time home buyer. If you've been thinking of buying or selling, we would love to sit down with you and have a strategic planning session to help you navigate not only the challenges, but also identify the opportunities that we're seeing in today's market. In the description below, we've included links to a seller and buyer's guide along with some other great tips, videos, and resources, and all of our information so you can easily reach us. Drop a comment or like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button to get weekly content on all things real estate. We are so grateful for your support and we look forward to seeing you back here next week.